Welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. My name is Tilti. Uh, today I am uh, doing a bit of uh, Batania. I figured I would go uh, about growing the magical crops, the all these uh, resource crops, and of course minis here also uh, with uh, aggregation which is done like so. Uh, it's not too complica complicated, uh, but it needs the runes to be made. And it needs also mana to function. So what it does it is that uh, once you put it down uh, beside your crops, it will increase their growth speed. I'm not actually uh, sure if it works uh, with the magical crops, but I will try it out. I can always use uh, use the aggregation with something else if it doesn't work with magical crops, but we will see. Let's go over here. And earlier I created a rune of waters, so I think I will create just uh, just one aggregation for now to see if it even works with the crops. So let's see. We need, I think, saplings. Any sapling wheat. Yeah, like that. So water, fire, wheat, and three saplings, and it starts creating the rune of spring. And that's cooking. Yep, like that. So now I have the rune of spring, and we need yellow petal, green petal, and two lime petals and the redstone root. I'm not sure, I don't have grass, I think, with me, but that's easy enough to do. Let's see. Oh, I have. Okay, great. So, like that. And lime green and yellow yellow lime and green and we of course need the seed so like that okay let's see Yes, we got it. And now I think I should... Let's harvest these, now that they are grown up. I have been harvesting these manually and just putting down the seeds in the farming station, so it will plant those. Because with the... Uh, as it turns out, I'm not sure if I uh, talked about this in earlier episodes, but the farming station doesn't actually uh, utilize the extra essence benefit of these magical crops hoes. So it would be just the same to use the, a regular diamond hoe in there. So now I have just been uh, growing these up and rain mining them when they are all grown up and dumping them into the grafter. So like that. And now, I, now we can also create a mana pool. We would need some mana, but I can get it from here. So let's try this in over here. Oh, yeah. Actually, I could also create the floating one. So, 
Let's see if I have left. Yeah, I have. So what was it? Yeah. Okay. So it's only like that and that. So now it doesn't need dirt beneath it to be placed. So I can place it. Mm, what would be like in the center somehow. So something like over here. And let's put down the mana pool over here. Dump the mana tablet. Over here. Now it's getting the mana out of the tablet. I think I will dump all of it, what was in it, into the mana pool because I can always recharge it over there. Okay, that's good. So, actually I'm not sure if this should be like on the same level, but I don't think it would require it. Okay, it's not. Mm. It's not linked to the mana pool. Now it is. And now it starts using the mana. And hopefully we see some... Somewhat faster growth in these crops. It's really hard to tell. Okay, I think I will do another experiment. I will create a couple more of these, put this down over here, and perhaps we will see the benefits then better. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I created uh, three more of these. I dropped them down from the uh, uh, being above the Minisio crops uh, to the same level. But uh, unfortunately, it seems like it seems like they are not working for the magical crops. Uh, and <laughs> even barely, it seems like they are even working with the regular crops. So there is the particles, like the bone meal particles, uh, coming out uh, once in a while. So they are doing something, but they don't do it for the magical crops. The bone, bone meal doesn't work on these. So I think that's a lost cause. But it's not a big deal. Uh, I could also create the uh, rainforest watering can. And I think that will be my next, next venture. So, because watering can uh, works on this, but you can't put the put down the uh, regular watering can into autonomous activator. You need the uh, rainforest one. And the rainforest watering can is done like so. So uh, the soul fragment is not uh, that hard to get, but I would need the pedrochium ingots. So I will need to start cracking on those ASAP. So let's see. I think I have some uh, petrogium ingots. Oh, I have two. But I would need uh, I would need what was it? Four. So yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be making the this, I could make this, uh, the cobble, cobblestone generator, I could make it with uh, 
transfer nodes uh, and world interaction uh, upgrades uh, like this and I would also make the igneous extruder machine like this to generate the cobblestone I'm not sure what would uh, I'm not yet uh, sure which one would be better but um, I think Yeah, I think I might go with the transfer node system because it's quite a. I I feel like it's easier, or let's say, not that expensive to make as these extruders. Like I could uh, create the reinfor reinforced and. Put the put down the uh, augments, the upgrades, but they are in all in all kind of pain to make compared to these uh, transfer nodes and world interaction upgrades. So. <coughs> I think I will start cracking on that and once I have something done uh, I will be back and we are back uh, so this is uh, what I came up with the uh, gobblestone generator so I put down these transfer nodes as I said I would and I put down, down the world interaction upgrades in there so it seems uh, this has been running uh, already some time. I was af AFKing, so it had generated quite a lot already uh, the of the cobblestone. And I went ahead and created myself some uh, bedrockium ingots, four to be exact. And these are created by putting down quadruple compressed cobblestone and triple compressed cobblestone and a block of diamond. And that's that. And now I'm quite ready to create the watering can. I still need the soil fragment and I can get that by, by placing the etheric sword in the crafting, uh, what's it, uh, crafting pattern over here and just take out the soil fragment. So, okay, so it uses apparently the uh, sword and it takes out 10% uh, of your max health. So that's the trade off for getting the soul fragment. Now we can create with a fragment pole and bedrockium ingots, we can generate the watering can reinforced. And the benefit of this uh, compared to the regular one is that the range of uh, area of effect of this uh, watering can is way larger. The regular uh, watering can has only 3x3 three three, and this has 7x7 seven seven. so it's quite huge compared to the regular one so yep Uh, so what I think I will be doing next, uh, now that I have the reinforced watering gang, I think I will tidy this up somehow, I guess, like, 
If it's seven by seven, I could put down like uh, four of these without upgrades, having just one uh, crop to be placed in three by three area, and next beside it, uh, next uh, the planter, next planter beside it, doing the same. And I could have like this seven by seven area with just one crop for each essence. But uh, that might be enough if I put down below the dirt, I put down the these uh, growth pulsers. So that would just make it uh, more compact. I wouldn't need to generate a huge amount of single crop and yeah it would uh, it would keep it more compact and i think it would be uh, quite okay if there is just uh, there is already the watering can growing the crops faster and there would be the growth pulsers so they would grow in optimal uh, setup i think it could be uh, almost like uh, instant the growth but uh, i will see into that uh, i think i will create something like a test area over here before clearing this up uh, what i forgot to talk about uh, in the beginning of the episode is that i actually already recorded one episode but for some reason I messed up the uh, voice voice track of that voice audio of that video so I couldn't of course upload it but uh, in that <laughs> episode I made myself the Civicio armor and now I'm able to fly around and in creative mode and whatever so that's pretty neat okay so I think uh, this might be a good wrapping point for this episode in the next episode I will be I think I'm not sure if I uh, record what I will be doing with the watering can and the uh, autonomous activator and with the uh, farming area I'm not sure if I record the building of that but that's what I will be doing next and I hope you uh, I hope you liked this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, any feedback is welcome. If you have suggestions what I should do next, like in the next episode, should I go over? I saw that uh, the Botania episode uh, got quite a lot of views. So if that's something you are into, or you would like me to getting into the botania stuff i can do that and yeah subscribe and thanks for watching see you in the next episode